All right, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Mr. Yurko here, just trying to give you an update to the Chris and Jim video, which is awesome, awesome video. But there is one thing that they, that you might run into that they didn't run into in their production. Um, and they had the move tool, and we don't have that move tool. I don't, I don't have that move tool. So thanks to another um, commenter for pointing this out. What we can do is we've got that sketch just like we showed you in the video. Of course, you can make sure you can drag that sketch up wherever you need it. Uh, so long as it's earlier in the video than, or earlier in your model than that second to, um, second gear, then this is pretty easy. So I've got that sketch uh, that is the length of the radius of the two gears added together. Um, so now we're just going to go ahead and hit the transform button. And then we're going to choose the translate by line tool from it. We're going to ask the entity to transform or copy. So just grab one of the gears. It doesn't matter which one. And it said line or points. So we're going to click the line that we want to transform and hit the check mark. And that's all there is to it. So if for some reason your version of Onshape doesn't have that move origin button uh, and mine didn't, this is how I'd solve that problem. Uh, and again, thanks to the other commenter for pointing that out, providing that suggestion. Uh, but here's a quick, that was, this is just a quick video on how to do that. Again, uh, you need the sketch uh, that was already there uh, that we created as shown in uh, Christian Jim's video. Then you need to hit that transform button, which is right up top here. It might not be the top one for you but it's transforming those two boxes with the little arrows uh, you can choose transform by line or translate by line and then you're going to identify your spur gear and then identify the line and that's all there was to it right, you guys have an awesome day